Hello, my name is Kastutis and today we will learn how you can set up your domains for emails at Hostinger. When it comes to email services on Hostinger, you could be using one of two options. These two options are Hostinger email and Titan email. The domain setup process for these email services is very similar and you can figure out exactly what service you are using in the email section of your H panel. Here you can see that next to the email ad extension there is either the Titan Mail logo or just an envelope icon. Titan Mail logo represents Titan Mail services and the envelope icon stands for hosting your emails. Feel free to use the video timestamps to jump straight to the setup process of the service which you are using. Once you have the email hosting activated for your domain, all you have to do is change a few DNS configuration settings. Now where these changes need to be made depends on where your domain is pointing via its name servers. In this example, my domain is pointed to Hostinger. This means that all DNS zone configuration would need to be done here. If my domain was pointed to some other name servers, the DNS configuration would be managed there. To edit our DNS configuration on Hostinger, we simply navigate to the DNS zone editor. Here let's sort out our records by type and check for any pre-existing MX records. Make sure to delete them as they might interfere with the new ones. Once that's done, you will need to enter the two MX records of Titan email. You can find all the exact values for the records linked in the description below. Next is adding the Titan Mail TXT records. You can do that like so. Now for the newly added DNS records to become active, the DNS zone needs to propagate. This process can take up to 24 hours. Once it's done, you will be able to verify your domain on Titan email and start using the service. The domain setup process for hosting your email requires having a few records added to your domain's DNS configuration. If the domain is already pointed to hosting your its name servers, all of these DNS zone records will be configured automatically. If, however, your domain is using external name servers, the DNS zone management will need to be done there. In this example, my domain is pointed to Cloudflare, so I will be configuring my DNS settings there. Let's begin by finding the DNS records that we would need to add. This can easily be done by navigating to the email section, clicking on the email that you would like to set up and opening the DNS settings tab. Here you will find three sections with MX, SPF and DKIM records. In each section you will also find a very handy Verify DNS button which shows you if your DNS records have been set up correctly. Copy these records and transfer them to your domain's DNS zone. In Cloudflare, this is done by opening the DNS section and clicking Add Record. Here we select the type of record which we would like to add and enter the required details. For the newly set up DNS records to become fully active, your DNS zone needs to propagate. This process can take up to 24 hours, so don't worry if it takes some time for you to be able to verify your DNS. And that's all it takes to set up your domain for emails at Hostinger. If you found this video helpful, you can let me know by clicking the like button. Consider subscribing for more web hosting related content. Until next time, I wish you best of luck in your online journey.